more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. I ain't top billing the haters. Yes, haters, I know it's Vanderbilt. Why the hell did you click on this anyway? So be on your way. Good day. All right, so here we go. Man, Naquan Wright, look at this, right? They're running that famed counter OH, of course, going to be pulling Ethan White here. Same thing with Kamari Gamble here. On the kick out, you got that counter action going on. Naquan Wright is my favorite Florida back. I said it on the last one right here. I absolutely love this. Look at this. Oh, look at that jump cut, man. Come on. You're making dudes whiff, right? behind the line of scrimmage a good jump cut will always get you back a couple of gaps right look where he goes at all the way over there back to the a gap look at this dude he ends up trying, <laughs> he ends up tackling gene the lance <laughs> he's up tackling g the lance he don't know where he's at right <laughs> he's all nauseous and shit but look at this oh my god what was that dude I almost jumped out my chair when i saw this run look at this leaving a man's ankles in a vegetative state Ooh, left him whiffing and nothing. Must have relaxed him into a coma. And then it was all she wrote off to the races. You know, the, I can't do the rest. Weak ass ESPN and content ID claim my shit off of five seconds of material. Come on, man. That run was hard. We all peeped the concerted effort to get vertical and push the ball down the field. Now, it came with varying results. Emory Jones has to get better at that, but at least he did it. Right? A lot of the people were complaining that he was not even looking deep. A lot of that has to do with your reads, man, right? If, if you're one of these guys and you're over there looking at Dan Mullen, he's pretty much spoon-feeding you where to go. They're going to keep you in your wheelhouse to make you be successful, and that's why I call this man the hacker. He's trying to get this kid to be successful and live within the realm of what he does best. Now, they're going to try to push the ball down the field. You're going to have to do that. Some of these games you have coming up there, so it's good to see some of this stuff right here. I'm not sure what they call this on the announce on the broadcast there. I should have muted that shit like I normally do, but they have a pretty much a smash concept here. Inside fade, Trent Whittemore getting vert, and then you have a quick curl out here by my man Cope jumping Jacob Copeland there, and uh, he almost I don't know. Are people gonna say he underthrew this, but. It is what it is. Maybe he did. Maybe he meant to fade it. It is a fade, right? So if you're running a fade, you're not going to leave as much room on the outside. So could he have pushed this up the field here, right? Pushing it up the field, but we've seen on fade patterns, back shoulder fades there, and we've seen it a lot. But when it's Emory Jones, hey, we're going to have to go back to that. <laughs> he just underthrew this one. I got to look at his mechanics, see what's going on. Clean pocket there. I don't know. He's just putting too much air under it. It's like he's trying to be a little bit too perfect, a little bit too perfect. He could have just led with this one down the field. So, nah, definitely not an intended thing, but it did end up being pretty good with the back shoulder fade, but I don't think he wanted it to be that. We can see it from here. See what Whittemore is working with, pause. He's coming out, splitting the, splitting the difference there, selling it. I think they called it an out and up. That's what I think they said. But, no, nah, it's just an inside fade. And he's able to give him half a man and get skinny, almost like he's pass rushing. Stack this man very quick. Like, that's just pure speed right there. He's got a few steps on him. And then it's thrown like a like a back shoulder fade, though. Great adjustment by him, too, to go up and get that. All right, I think this can be a valuable lesson learned for some of you people out there or for most of you people who are frequenting the channel and thinking that the success that my man – Anthony Richardson, AR-15, had against Playtex Tampon State University and UCF was going to happen every single time this man had the ball, right? Like, you have to think logically. Coach Mullen sees both these guys in practice, and he's a quarterback's coach, so he spends the majority of his time with these guys anyway. And I think this was kind of an eye-opening thing. And last game as well where he didn't look as explosive. Now we can see him here going against a little bit better competition, but yes, it's Vandy. So is it much better competition? Probably not much, but what is this? I'm not sure if this was supposed to be a throwback screen, but it's looking like you're going to have Copeland come in here, almost like a mesh concept with him and Keon Zipper. I can see, I don't know, I have to look at the, the other. I didn't, uh, for some reason, I didn't grab the other version of this or the other viewpoint of this, but I'm not sure where he was throwing this to. This didn't make 
a bit of sense to me here. But you get that front face and play action fake to Damian Pierce. Maybe it was going to be a throwback screen, but then he missed and aborted it. But right with the breach coming on him right here, he looked like he kind of panicked and just threw it. And he got hit while he was throwing it ball wobbly and not sure who that was going to. If it was going to zipper, it's a bad pass. Pierce is there. It's a bad pass. It's just a bad pass and a bad decision. Now, Vanderbilt has some of the worst offensive personnel I think I've seen, so it's not worth focusing on the defense, although you have to give the defense credit. It's not playing with his food. Much better performances this year. A team like Vandy should be choked out to the tune of zero yards. But, man, these fabricated pressure schemes by my boy Ty Grantham, he's still on his game and in his bag with these particular things. Now, look at this one right here. Love the spacing and love the timing of this play. Ultimately, you're going to have Mahmoud Diabate coming way from far left here on the defensive side of the ball. Brandon Cox running tight to the vest here. However, his original assignment or the guard's original assignment here, it looks like it could be Daquan Newkirk. He's fire zoning. Tyron Hopper here, matchup zone, shallow matchup zone. Then you get a TE stunt with Zach Carter and Gervin Dexter here that pretty much just acts as a distraction from Mahmoud Diabate. So a lot of things going on, a lot of moving parts here. Vanderbilt was not prepared for this one. See right there. Oh, great move by Brenton Cox here. We got him running arm under. Arm under, that flushes the quarterback or at least makes him have a contingency plan and gets actually closer to Mahmoud Diabate. So he just has to pretty much pull the ripcord, cock and fire right here. And he throws it right to Daquan Newkirk. That's hard. Hell of a play call by your man Ty Grantham here. And then Newkirk here with some wheels. Look at this. The slow release muscle relaxer. Oh, <laughs> come on. How you don't get a hand on Daquan Newkirk running that slow? <laughs> Daquan Newkirk in the open field. The hacker alert. I like this concept here. On the outside, you're going to have a couple of clear out routes. Working with number splits here couple of curls, but then you're going to have a seam route here by Naquan Wright getting vert, and you're going to have a little self-play action here, and we know you guys know about that self-play action, right? And some of you dudes need to touch a breast that doesn't come in a six-piece bucket. Let's be real here. Self-play action right there sucks up the linebackers. That eye discipline right there is definitely compromised, and this is going to leave this linebacker flat-footed here out on the edge to deal with Naquan Wright, and all Jones has to do is put it on him. Boom, Fab Five got him. Look at that. Nasty. And then the rest is God-given ability on oh, Naquan Wright, and you know I can't show the rest. So, But this concept is off the chain, in my opinion. Love the self-play action there taking advantage of his wheels or his threat to run there. Winds the defense. This quarter, <laughs> this dude's already done anyway. He's still looking back at Emory Jones when there's a currently a player crossing his face. He needs to just get vertical with him. Can't do it. The hacker, Dan Mullen. This is why I call him that. It's not based on one game or some type of uh, win or loss or something like that. That doesn't make sense, right? I cover – offensive concepts when I'm talking about that man because he is an offensive coach, right? Nothing to do with wins or losses. He doesn't coach defenses. Purely talking about that. Now, look at this. Same exact play that he had to Naquan Wright, but this time having to work closer to the boundary. So this time the spacing is a little bit different, but they're doing the same exact thing here. And the defensive alignment is different as well. This time they're going to be playing coverage across the board. And he's still able to get this with this time pulling Ethan White and shooting Damian Pierce up that seam here. Great call, great play design. He loves to get the ball to the backside of the backfield, and he has a myriad of ways of doing it. Same play action fake right there. You can see Jones holding the safety, and even though they're in pure coverage here, all he has to do is clear, and Jones put it on him. Perfect. Both safeties widened out. You see that, right? Right here, you run those clear-out routes. You got Ricky Wells here. He's widening out with that clear-out route. So having that balanced shell widen out even more just to hit that seam route up the middle, absolutely perfect. Get vert, and you know the rest. Rack them. 
I know it's in vogue to point out all the bad shit from Emory Jones, but this damn throw here, uh, off his back foot, oh, pylon fade to Whittemore. Look at the product placement. Come on. First of all, look at the throw. Look at this. Man, somebody in the comment section said that Emory Jones had a problem with throwing with too much velocity or something like that. And I was like, what? Unless you know, man, these cats be watching, but not everybody's watching with the same football brain. He does not have a trouble with putting touch on the ball. If anything, he may have a trouble putting velocity on the ball, but touch is not an issue for him. Look at his jumping off of his back foot, throwing in, in the air, both feet in the air. Look, both feet are literally in the air when he's throwing this damn ball right here. So you can't get much on it like that, but he feathers the clutch and puts it exactly where it needed to be out in front of Whittemore. Whittemore looking damn good on this particular play right here. Nasty. Just like you draw it up. Now, I don't know what the hell this was. I think my man was just having such a good game that he just got lackadaisical or something like this. I don't even see how you make this type of mistake. You're throwing a curl route into double coverage, but it's double coverage where both guys are literally in front of the defender. It's like he couldn't see any white there or something like that. And now, no, nah, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even justify that. I was going to say that, listen, he is thrown to a spot. So maybe he thought Justin Shorter was going to clear and be in the middle because it is zone there. You can see he kind of led it to the outside. That's why Justin was only able to get one hand and the linebacker was only get the one hand, one hand on it. So maybe he thought Justin would, when you normally when you run these routes, you run the daylight. So he would run just a little bit or slide a little bit inside and then they would meet in the middle of the field. But it wasn't a route worth throwing at all. He was better off maybe coming backside and hitting Copeland here or maybe working that quick flat to Whittemore. But he didn't need to throw that when that was a bad pass or bad decision. What more can I say? Top billing. Top.